This video is rated TV 16, has some harsh language which may not be appropriate for younger audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Alright everybody, this is Danger at the Docks, 50th Anniversary, Flint, he comes with the uh, Vant Mark II, um, as you can tell he is not of classic colors, he has uh, gray camo pants, his web gear here is... Um, gray and some light gray colors he does come with your typical um, boot knife he comes with a pistol and then another knife Now, this gear here, um, or this figure here, is made up from a um, Lifeline or um, Cobra Firefly, along with the arms here are um, the mouse figure from G.I. Joe Retaliation, and the head, if you don't already know, is um, Resolute Flint. Now he comes with some of the same basic gear, you, your rifle, I mean shotgun, and this um, uh, web gear for shot, full of shotgun shells, etc. It's been uh, modified so that um, it's a uh, a little more realistic um, some of the problems that has plagued the um, G.I. Joe line or the 50th line is poor paint um, um, the paint apps are very poor um, the joints on some of them are very poor um, as you can see, well, right here, you should be able to see maybe some, um, dry brush of some brown, um, whether that was intentional, um, I don't know, um, also his arm is two-tone in color, where apparently this is, um, poured in black and then paint it paint it over his head if you see the eyes the eyes are painted I guess um, poorly is probably the only word that uh, I can give you for it. Uh, the other arm Now the um, torso doesn't look bad. Still has this. Still has the um, hole in back. If you can see that. Um, paint apps are okay for the uh, face and head overall. Um, comes with the uh, GI Joe figure stand and yes it's painted in gold has the two pegs and um, I noticed this with some of my um, other figures is that this set of peg stands uh, foot stands don't have the stars at the end 
Now I noticed some of those off of the Dollar General figures. Um, so I don't know exactly uh, when this started. But I mean, the figure stand is typical. That's probably the best part about uh, this set other than the uh, Vamp Mark II. Uh, which I will try to um, review that um, as soon as I can. Um, I mean, I like Flint. It's a good figure, and this is one. This is one of the recipes that I wanted to uh, use in order to customize this Flint. And I might have to send it off to a painter of mine and have them uh, repaint it in. Um, classic colors um, compared to something that I had on hand um, my um, custom that I put together and had sent out to be painted compared to uh, this one it's basically the same idea uh, except you have the 25th uh, torso and legs, uh, resolute arms from the resolute flint. I mean, I'm sorry, um, retaliation flint. Um, and of course, the resolute head. Obviously, I had it painted to uh, show classic colors, gave them some add ons and hadn't tried his um, web gear on yet but I think he looks good like that as as it is now articulation there's no difference in this articulation than in uh, lifeline or um, any one of the fireflies with the same gear set up or the same uh, setup say um, the three pack uh, gray um, Firefly or the uh, Firefly that came with the um, small mini hiss drone um, As for the set the set does come with the uh, Vamp mark 2 It comes with the uh, proper colored uh, night landing with the uh, proper colored eel of course uh, we know about the um, gear that gearbox that it comes with um, and basically that's it um, I'm going to be doing some more reviews on some of the other figures that I picked up um, this is a buy you go out there you find it you pick it up uh, if nothing else for Flint and the uh, Vamp Mark II. So, until next time, enjoy.